So story time. <laughs> so, if any of you keep up with this channel, you may have realized there wasn't a video um, yesterday. And there's an interesting reason for that. You see, um, as well, y'all know, I was uh, moving back to Louisiana. Part of that trip had me going through Mississippi. So, Saturday, Sunday morning actually, at around 2 o'clock in the morning, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, somewhere around that time, I get into Mississippi. Well, apparently, Saturday night, there was a very bad storm go through Mississippi. Now, mind you, I'm on a main highway. I'm on a main highway. This is a... You know, it's it's not it's not the uh, the interstate, but it is a main highway through Mississippi. So, hi truck. So, <laughs> I'm going through there, and I'm noticing that there are limbs, branches everywhere, and I'm like, oh, this is not look good. I'm seeing trees over on the side, you know, falling over and stuff. So, driving, and eventually I come to there's two RVs with uh, some nice people from. Uh, um, Canada who are stopped right there in Mississippi. There is a gigantic tree across the road like just over it There's no getting past it. Excuse me. There's no getting past it And uh, you can't really turn around either because the ditches on this main road. They are like sloped almost straight down. So it's like There's none you you're not turning RVs around so um, We said that they helped me <clears throat> they helped me uh, back up the uh, El Camino with the U-Haul and um, I told them okay well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backtrack back down here a little bit and um, I'm going to see if I can find another way through and um, if I find one I'll kind of come back and you know we'll I'll tell y'all where to go so um, I do that so I go down there and my GPS says yeah turn down this road right here now this is a this is a fairly nice looking road so I'm like okay all right no problem so I'm going down this road, and it has gotten worse. And this road has turned into like, it went from a semi-paved road, pretty decent, to like goat trail. And I'm like, oh, nope, this ain't happening. I was like, okay, well, I see I got to turn up here in like 0.4 miles. So I'll make it right here, and um, I looked on the little GPS map, and this is like a main highway. So I'm like, okay, I'll just do that, and then um, I'll find a way around to go let them know that there's a way through here. No sooner did I say that, tree across the other road, <laughs> like right there, I'm like, there's no way I can move this, uh, shit, and I couldn't back up the El Camino with the U-Haul, because I'm not 100% not comfortable doing that, and um, another little part, while I was driving down this road, I hit some pretty bad bumps, and it ended up bending my bumper down, which the El Camino is over there, but it ended up bending the bumper down. So now the U-Haul trailer is like dragging every once in a while. The bumps are making it bounce and it's dragging. So I'm like, oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. So <laughs> I get right there and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? So I'm kind of freaked out. I'm like, fuck it. So I call call my dad. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I call him and he's like, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> You're just going to have to wait till it's daylight and see what you can do. I'm like, All right. And then my mom calls me back. And she's like... You and she was been keeping me up, keeping up with me on like Facebook, and she's like, "You are in such and such uh, county near this town. Call these, the county, you know, sheriff's department or whatever, and tell them there's a tree in the road and you're stuck." I was like, "You know, that's a good idea." So I call these bitches. I'm not going to say the name of the town in Mississippi, but I call these. This woman, and I, I can tell, I can I look on my GPS, I know the road I'm on. I know the road I'm about to turn on. And when I zoom in, I can actually see the town. So I'm like, okay, this is where I'm at. I'm on this road. I was on this road. There is a tree blocking that road. There are two other people in RVs stuck right there. They're stuck. Where are you at again? I'm on this road. <laughs> this road. Right here. You turn off of... Then again, I say the main road. Right there, I am like 0.4 miles from this other road going to this other town. I go through that for 20 minutes trying to explain to her. Finally, I'm sending GPS coordinates. I'm like, this is where I'm at. This is my GPS coordinates right here. 
She's like, okay, honey, we'll have somebody there to you soon. By this time, it's 3.45. 3.45 in the freaking morning. So I'm like, right, you know what? I'm just going to chill out here. I'm going to listen to my book. Now, mind you, I'm in the middle of nowhere, Mississippi. It's dark. There's nothing. I'm on a dirt road. There is a tree blocking my path. And I'm just sitting there. So I get in the El Camino. I roll down the windows because it's Mississippi. It's fucking hot. And I'm just sitting there. I'm hearing all sorts of fucking Sasquatches in the woods. Trolls and serial killers and everything. I'm hearing all this shit in the woods. I'm like, oh, this is, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna be a statistic. <laughs> I'm gonna disappear. Aliens are gonna give me some bullshit's gonna happen. So I'm sitting there. I wait and wait and wait and wait. Six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning rolls around. Not slept. <laughs> I'm sitting there and this freaking, my mom's got little spiders coming down there and they like every time the wind blows they come down so doing that six o'clock in the morning rolls around i am just like i right, you know what no so what i do is I unhook the u-haul from the el camino i take that u-haul i physically turn it around it's full of my shit it was hard <laughs> i fell i cussed i physically turn the u-haul around i get in the el camino I back it. It takes me about 15 minutes to get it where I'm back straight. Get it back up. Hook it back up where I'm going the other direction. Now, mind you, it's not the best road. So I'm having to do like five miles an hour down this road. I, it's bumping. The, the bumper's getting worse and worse and worse. I go back through there. I get back on the main road. I go back. The poor Canadians are still there. And I, I pull up. I said, did the cops come through? And uh, they're like, no, we haven't seen anybody. I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go right through here. I'm going to unhook the trailer. I'm going to go around this damn tree. So I drive up. They had backed up a little bit, like past the curve. You know, that was as far as they could go. And they pulled off uh, where they were comfortable, you know, where they wouldn't flip over their RVs and shit. So I'm going. I get there. They are just pulling this tree down. Now, mind you, I called them at like 3 o'clock in the morning. It's, it's, it's 6.45 now around about that time get in there there's a freaking cop with his lights on waves at me hi i'm like you sons of bitches i could have died so uh they go they go back and they they get with the canadians to make sure so i just say fuck it and i drive i go and the whole time i'm hearing this trailer you know <laughs> i'm like okay i can't i can't do this anymore i've got to pull over so I pull over and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fix my bumper, how to bend it back up. Um, how am I going to do this? Finally, uh, an, an old man stopped and helped me. He had a big heavy duty jack because amazingly enough, for some reason, my heavy duty jack and my jumper cables that I put in the El Camino before I left weren't in there. Go figure. So we jack up the bumper and I take the chains off of my coffin, which you know, I've got a coffin toolbox in my bag. I take that off loop them around the hitch into the back of the El Camino, my little loading hooks, and uh, hook those back up and go on my way. So yeah, that was my adventure. I was stuck in the middle of nowhere, West Virginia, uh, down a dirt road in the middle of the night, dark, possibly going to get raped by Sasquatch. So uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. Alright guys, just uh, made it back to Louisiana. I'm working on my nerd cave. Uh, I should be finished with it today. We kind of started working on it a little bit last night. Um, just got to do some cosmetic stuff because my dad decided that he was going to take some of the stuff out of there to fix some of the stuff in my house. Don't blame him. It's like, okay, so we're just going to replace that shit. Alright guys, well I will talk to you guys later. And uh, peace. Take it easy. Bye.